las lluvias. Por una parte ha sido beneficiosa, porque hace producir lo que nosotros trabajamos. Pero por el otro lado eh, nos ha dificultado o nos dificulta el río por las cruzadas que a veces no nos los permite. Imagínense cómo salimos con una creciente de ese río que se enferme un señor o un niño o una mujer embarazada que esté a dar a luz. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer para pasar nosotros ese río? Por eso es muy necesario este puente, muy necesario. So we're here in, uh, in Rio Grande, Panama, which is about 350 kilometers outside of Panama City. The people here living in the community of Rio Grande, they're mostly rice farmers. Talking to one of the locals, um, he said that for years they've been told that this bridge is going to get built and that, you know, so many people have passed away from the village believing that this bridge is going to get built um, and it's just never happened. So as Parsons, we're here in partnership with Bridges to Prosperity and our goal is to construct a suspension footbridge for the community to allow these individuals to have access to things that, that they haven't had before. When we arrived here in our day one, uh, we, we, we saw that the foundations has been completed, so it was ready for us to start putting the towers together and putting the scaffolding up. The first big milestone uh, was raising tower number one, and a day later we were able to raise tower number two. We've, we've had a few challenges. We're working uh, basically 10 strangers uh, dropped in a uh, remote country where only two of the 10 speak the language. We have been fabricating all the little pieces to be able to put the deck. But the big highlight was that we were able to put the main cables at the final configuration. Hazards are obviously fall protection. We have scaffold up on both sides of the water. Sprains and strains. We do a lot of material handling here because we have no heavy equipment. Day seven involved installing the hangers and cross beams. And the next day we're getting the decking in place and installing the fencing and the handrails. This is completely different than what I do for, for a living. And most of my work is being performed in, in an office. Over here, we don't even have a cell phone connection. This job is not, not for everyone. It's not a, for the faint of heart. It's, it's a difficult, very difficult challenge. Very early mornings, you know, bug bites everywhere, dirt on your face, but and just, it's been so hot. But honestly, you just look at the big picture and all of that goes out the window. Today is pretty much our last day of work. We're finishing up wiring the fences, doing handrails, and cleaning up the site. Working with the Parson team has been amazing. Great people, great team. They didn't knew each other and they look like family. From day one, they've been an excellent team. Really what stood out uh, from the first day was the communication and the planning, and that hasn't wavered. Honestly, it's almost like a hard to believe situation for me, uh, having these uh, 10 people, including myself, for two weeks in very hard conditions and not having conflict with each other, everybody's getting along well. That was a wonderful experience for me and a wonderful group of people to be with and to manage. Hoy en día ya pues vamos a tener garantizada 
eh, la vida de nuestra, nuestra gente, de nuestros moradores. Estamos muy contentos con este, esta construcción, con, con todo el apoyo y esfuerzo que ustedes han hecho para brindarnos eh, un puente eh, en esta comunidad. It's hard to put into words the feeling that we're going to have uh, forever, knowing that what we've done in a short time frame will affect the lives of people for generations to come. Being able to work on what I love the most, but also directly giving back to people, that's priceless. And I don't think I'll ever be able to do something like this again. They no longer have to take off their shoes to cross this river. They no longer have to spend the night on one side or the other of the river because the river is too high up. That is one thing that, that I'll never forget. I watched two of the oldest members of the community and eight or nine of the youngest members of the community use the bridge for the first time. How cool is that? It's okay. That was a coconut or something, not a snake. <laughs> I can't remember what I was. Oh, jeez. And that's my crazy dog. Mm -hmm. I was worried about on, on our team. Me. Who's, who's the troublemaker? Me. I, I would be the one. You don't have to drink Balboa ice or Panama light. We, we can treat to ourselves to the red can. <laughs> The sunscreen, <laughs> a little overkill, huh? I like looking like a mime. <laughs> no, <it's okay. laughs> we can try. I don't know that all very well, but I can try. It's from <laughs> your beef. Would you do it again? In a moment's notice.